the UMP modified division. Now last week, if you missed it folks, I'll tell you it was a night to be here. Number one and number two drivers in the nation in UMP. We're here at the Beckman Motor Speedway. And there's the green flag and they're off and running right now. Car number 54 that time on the first turn went down low and bent a little bit of the inside dirt wall. He's back up and running now. Car number 30 spins out. Keith Bills is out in front in the lead in car number 36. He does a real consistent job of keeping his car under control. And I'm going to have to try to look back at some old notes to see who car number 30 is. He arrived late and I don't have his number. So while we're under yellow flag, I'll check that out. Driving car number 30 tonight, Von Brunty. Von Brunty in car number 30. And number 36, that is Keith Bills. And car number 54, driven by Dale Lyons. Okay, we're back and racing under the green flag. I do not know. He's driving car number 30, and there's a little crash between car number 30 and car number 54. And I'm trying to think. I've seen car number 30 here before. Keith Bills is your leader right now. Dale Lyons with the spin out of turn number two. It's Dale Lyons. And they're going to check out these cars. They got bumped a little bit. As a matter of fact, there's a, a piece of one laying up in the curve. So I'd say somebody's going to be finished for the night. It looks like the air filter that uh, the guy lost earlier on in the hot lap. That he lost, <laughs> remember when he lost it out on the track earlier? I believe it's the same thing. Yeah, we had a, earlier here in Warmouth, there was a big oil spill down there on the track, just about where the cars are now. Uh, number 54 lost all kinds of goodies, but apparently they went back into the pits and put the car back together and they're up and running again. Your lead car is number 36, uh, driven by Keith Bill. The open fender. He feels is your leader. Up class at Beckley Speedway. The, the late model car with the four man's budget. Here we get ready. There's the restart. The green flag is out. The Keith Bills jumps out into the lead. Car number 54 spun out right down in front of the. Right down in front of the. Uh, Starts his power there where he starts him from, and he's sitting right side across the track. And maybe not able to get it up to get going under his own power. Yeah, it's starting, but it's dying right away. That's got something to do with the missing air filter, what do you think? It may do it. He's losing power somewhere. It looks like or maybe he's lost his clutch. If you get it running, it doesn't look like he can uh, get anything to go after that. It looks like he'll dump his clutch a little bit or, or give it some kind of uh, give it some gas and uh, it's just dying on him. So there's more to these cars than I can explain that. It looks like he's got it going now, though. Well, Dale Lyon has his car back up and running. And he's going to continue. So he's going to join the back of the pack. And everybody's going to have another shot at Keith Field. Okay, and that day, Monday Plenty in car number 30. Gets by Keith Bills, and boy, what racing action. Those two guys are going after each other right now. They're coming around the curb. Brunny's got just a little bit of a lead. And now he's starting to step out and pull away. Keith Bills running a tough second right now. Spins out a little bit, loses some ground. Car number 54 spins all the way out. He's back up and running under his own power there. We're down to two laps to go. And car number 30, Bondi Plunty has the lead. Bills is right behind him in second. A distant half lap behind car number 54, Dale Lines. The white flag is going to come out. No, they're going to hold it up. I missed something there because I thought I saw him give him the 
Here comes two laps. Okay. I got ahead of myself there. He was just getting them out. Bondi Bunny is the leader with two laps to go. Here's the Beckley Motor Speedway. UMB Racing Division in second. There comes Keith Field, car number 36. Third is car number 54, Dale Lyon. He's a half lap behind the leader. The white flag for Bondi Bunny. One lap to go. And he's got a nice lead over Keith Field. And he can hold on to it. No mistake to this car, but Bondi Bunny is going to be the winner and take the checkered flag as he does here at the Beckley Motor Speedway in the qualifying heat of the UMP Racing Division. We'll be back with more exciting racing action from the Beckley Bond Motor Speedway. Three cars out on the track in a UMP Modified Racing Division. Right away, car number 30, Bondi Brunty, takes the lead. He was the winner in the heat race here earlier tonight. In second is car number 36, Keith Bills. And coming up third, car number 54, Dale Lyons. And there, Brunty spins out. Lyons spins out, and Keith Bills takes the lead. We've got the yellow flag out, and it'll be interesting to see how they're going to reline them. Did they make their first full lap? Yeah, they, that was uh, coming into their second lap right around that turn. My, so oh, my, how things. quickly things they change. Them up, uh, I'm not sure how they started. Who, who? Okay, uh, in, in the start, Brunning had the pole. Bills was on the outside, and Lyons was UMP car up. number 36 so is driven by Keith Bills. Yeah, they're going to restart. Number 30 driven by Vaughn Brunty. And car number 54, Bondi, Bruntie, where are you? Dale Lyons, position. driver of number 54. Okay, here we go. Ready for the restart. They're lined up. Three cars. It's not going to take them too long to get ready. And here comes the green flag, and they're not waiting on it either. Bondi Bunty shoots out into the lead. Keith Bills goes low on the inside. Bills goes wide now. Here comes Bunty. Little bumping, little pushing. And they, oh, there's some more bumping and pushing between uh, Bills and uh, Bunty. Lines in third. These guys are going side by side after each other. Dale Lines in third place. Keith Bills goes high on the outside. Can't get by. Now he's coming low on the inside. Pulls up shoulder to shoulder with him. It's going to be interesting coming out of this curve. Bills is in front, but not for long. Brent all side by side. Shoulder to shoulder. Those two guys are racing it out. Now Bills takes the lead. But here comes Brunty back down low on the inside. Keith Bills holds him off. Now Brunty goes low and goes, and there's a bump and a push. Bills squeezes back by on the outside. Well, these two guys are going to fight it out all the way. First and second, right there they go. Bondi Brunty, your leader, Keith Bills in second, Dale Lyons in third. Here comes Bills, low on the inside. Can't quite get by yet. Got a chance coming out of the curve. No, loses too much speed in a turn. Took it too tight. Now here he comes, low on the inside again. Can't get by. Bondi Brunny managing to hold him off. Well, there he goes down low on the inside and takes the lead. Keith Bills is your leader, but here comes Brunty trying to fight his way back into the race. Dale Lyons, meanwhile, a little bit out of control here on the near curve. Bondi Brunty spins out. And Brunty now is coming around on the track. The yellow flag is not out. Now it's out. Now I'm going to tell you what I think that was. I think that was a real smart ploy by Vondi Brunty to sit there and wait rather than try to get back into the race from half a lap down. He's going to get back into the race. Well, maybe not. He's coasting in. He may be heading. Now there he goes. Now he's starting. Okay, so now instead of being half a lap down, he's going to be right on that old high knee, right? That may be, you may be exactly right, and if that is the case, I don't know if he was actually thinking that, 
But if he was, that's a good good job of driving right there. Well, now, as a coach, what would you do? Well, yeah, as a coach, you're doing that. But if you're out there as a player, that's a different story. Well, if you're a thinking player, that's what you do. He did a good job that time. He did a real good job. That's what I'd have done. I'm going to tell you that right now. In a race like that, I spin out. I'm going to say, okay, now here's my choices. I can go on right now and not get the caution, and I'll be half a lap back. Or I can hang around here a few minutes, get the caution, and I'll be 50 feet back. I'll tell you one good thing about only three cars out here. It don't take them long to get it restarted. Well, we're ready for the restart right now. Sarge has them lined up and ready to go, and here they come. And Brunton goes down low on the inside. We can't get by. In first is Keith Fields, in second, Dale Lyons, in third, Bondi Brunty. And now I got a kick in the wood again. Keith Fields doing a good job right now, stretching out his lead. Here comes Dale Lyons, down low on the inside, can't get by. Lyons doing a good job right now, holding off Brunty. He struggled a little bit here tonight, but he's doing okay right now. Brunty's going to try to go down low and on the inside to get by. Everybody's hanging, and there's a spin out and a bump. Brunty stays under control. Now let's see what Dale Lyons is going to do. Is he going to play possum too? Yeah, the caution flags out. Brunty spun out too up there again in the same turn uh, where he spun out a minute ago. He spun out again, so he's having a little bit of problems up there with turns three and four. Okay, well, again... Car that time, Ron car 54. Brunzi having some problems up there in turn Lost a little three, bit, and, and I believe he's going to hold some things up. Some now, car number 30 bumped out with of the him, car. And, and that may have been part of what caused him to spin out down here. Ronnie Brunny may have a problem or two of his own. We'll have to wait and see. Well, they're getting them lined back up. Now, the way I see it, 54 spun out. He should be in the last, right? Well, I don't know. Did he spin out? Both of them spun out. Did they get the yellow flag out? Uh, did uh, Brundy spin out before 50 before the yellow flag come out or what? It looks like they're going uh, 54 and then Brundy. Yeah, they're going they're going back to the original starting position here as of the last restart. So here they go, coming around the curve. They're off and racing. Keith Bills has a great opportunity to get a victory here tonight. And Dale Lyons spins out. Now Lyons is out of it. He's dropped back to third, and it's going to be a race between Bondi Brunning and Keith Bills. Bills has about a five or six car length lead going into the curve. Brunny there loses a little bit, spins out, hits the far wall, and Brunny now comes into the center of the track. He hit the far wall hard. And Sarge is going to let him keep on racing. Keith Bills is your leader. Dale Lyons is second. And Dale Lyons spins out. White flag. One lap to go. We're under the white flag. One lap to go. The checkered flag comes out. Here comes Dale Lyons around. He's got one lap to go now. And Keith Bills spins out on the high end. But he's still going to take the checkered flag here at the Beckley Motor Speedway in the UMP Modified Racing Division. He is going to be your winner number 36, at the feature Keith event Bills here tonight. Taking the checkered flag. Congratulations, and the UMP Bills. A job race. well done. Uh, sure enough, and uh, you know, Ashley may not have won tonight, but Keith picked up the flag, and the Bills are going to go on winner after all. Second. The hardware is going. Ball tonight is brought to you by Michelin because so much is riding on your tires. Long right field line there, I think, Dave. Pedro Martinez has it working again tonight for the Expos against San Francisco. Yeah, last time out, he was just simply splendid, Chris. He had all of his pitches working. I don't really know what difference it makes, but apparently it makes a lot of difference in the expense you put into a car. Oh, they say that uh, these are so much, uh, well, you know, Keith was talking about uh, how much his dad had into his uh, late model just in the engine out there, and he was uh, telling us how much that, uh, he had in his, 
And I'm not Folks, going to again, I'd like to remind you but, that uh, coming up next yep, weekend, July 2nd and 3rd, and, uh, it's the know, official vacation there, for Beckley Motor and, Speedway. Uh, he's racing Our here next scheduled racing will be on July the 9th. His car we hope and, uh, you have a happy 4th. Hope you'll be back with us. Absolutely. Congratulations to Keith